In this video, we take you to Canada's desert, a Soyuz, where we show you an old ranch, take you for a desert walk, taste some wine at a very popular winery, and end the day overlooking the city. We are back in a Soyuz. We wanted to come back. We had so much fun the last time we were here. If you don't know anything about a Soyuz, it is a desert town in Canada. Yes, Canada has a desert. It's very warm here. It's actually the warmest town in Canada. It's right on the border to Washington State. And it's full of vineyards and orchards and lakes and of course desert land. It's only 16 degrees today. Yeah, but coming out of a Canadian winter, it's like yesterday it was <laughs> snowing where we live. <laughs> so it's beautiful here. Sunshine, vitamin D. Our first stop is at the Haynes Ranch, which is an abandoned ranch. One of our viewers recommended that we take Black Sage Road from Oliver to the Haynes Ranch, which is on Road 22. And it was the perfect drive. It's a beautiful drive through all the vineyards. Scattered with a little bit of orchard and a little bit of sage and desert land. It was short, but spectacular. ranch has been here since the 1800s. It's pretty old for this area actually. 1860s? In 1856 John Haynes moved to the area. He was the town's judge and customs officer and he bought up something like 20,000 acres of land. His family is still ranching in the area, farming, but this abandoned ranch there's a barn behind us and what they think is a root house and maybe some sort of lodging bunkhouse that's been abandoned and it's been here since 1869. The ranch is right on the side of the road. There's somewhere to pull over and there's a small sandy hill to walk up. I'll show you. So as long as you're a little mobile, it's easy to come and just wander around. at Haynes Point Provincial Park and there isn't much there for recreational purposes but there was beautiful spots for camping. If you're looking for somewhere to camp, there. And it's all flat so it's easy to walk around. We are at the Nakeep Desert Cultural Center. It's a lot like in our last Osoyoos video where there was a walk through the desert. This isn't boardwalked and it does go down quite a steep hill and back up. I would recommend it's not great for a wheelchair and if you have mobility issues bring some walking sticks or a walker or something or a cane to help you. It is one and a half kilometers the loop. At the bottom of the hill is a traditional Okanagan village. This is a 1600 acre conservation area. It is the largest remnant of the Great America Desert and is one of Canada's most endangered areas. Food. 
Once we were done at the desert center, we went down to the Inkbeak cellars and did some wine tasting, which was fabulous. Make really, a reservation. Really good. And then we went out on the patio and had a late lunch. Again, make a reservation. We had a charcuterie cheese board. Maybe the best one we've seen yet. We had dessert, which was mousse, chocolate mousse, but it had got this blackberry puree and toasted marshmallow. And the views from the patio were amazing. You could see all of the Soyuz and the vineyard. It was a little bit windy. Outdoor dining in Canada is a little iffy, <laughs> but it was beautiful. Then we did the drive up Anarchist Mountain to the lookout check out this view. Isn't it fantastic? Seems like lately all of our video endings is in the wind. The wind and cold. We're gonna leave you with this video. If you want to see more activities to do in a Soyuz, Check out our other video, the link's up there. Uh, in case you're new here, I'm Shauna. I'm Trevor. And we're the Portly Travelers. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. We love hearing from you as well. And these things help our channel so much. And don't forget to check out our Instagram and Twitter. It was. It was way less. Or, it was. It was more beautiful. It was. <laughs> My arm is getting tired. Okay. Once we were done at the desert center, which, by the way, Trevor found a snake. <laughs> I didn't get it on camera, and he was busy screaming. <laughs> Yeah, I screamed. Me and the snake are both okay. That's the important thing. When counting down the days till we fly away, adding to the sun, only you and me are.